Now suppose we know that log to the base a of x equals b and log to the base a of y equals c. That means that a to the power of b equals x. Remember a is the base, a is the base. And that also means that a to the power c equals y. Let's multiply these two equations together. x times y, that equals a to the power of b times a to the power of c. But the rules of indices state that a to the power of b times a to the power of c is a to the power of b plus c. Now let's go back to uh, the logs. The inverse of a to the power is a log. So that means that log to the power so I log to the base a of x, y equals b plus c. What's b1, what's c? Well, b is log to the base a of x, and c is log to the base a of y. So this is an important rule for combining logs. We'll see its application later. Let's go through some of this again because we'll get a different rule this time. Um, and this time we're not going to do x times y, we're going to do x divided by y. So x divided by y is a to the power b divided by a to the power c. But the rules of uh, indices state that that is simply a to the power b minus c. Now let's go back to logs. The base here is a. So the base of our log formula is going to be a, and then these swap over. So therefore log to the base a of x over y is log to the base a of x, that's b, and what c it's log to the base a of y. So that is another important formula. Now let's look at the third rule. The third log rule that we need. Start off with log to the base a of x equals b. The power is a. So I'm now going to raise each side to the power n. And the rules of logs state that a to the b to the power n is a to the b n. And because b n is the same as n b, I can write it like this. Then let's go back to logs. The base is a. And what is b? It's log to the base a of x. So that's our third important log rule. Let's think about log to the base a of 1. Let's call that b. The inverse of log to the base a is a to the power. So a to the power b equals 1. So what number, if we do a to that power equals 1, well b must equal naught, because a to the power naught equals 1. So therefore we get log to the base a of 1 equals naught. Now let's think about log to the base a of a. Inverse means we've got this. So a to some power equals a, so therefore b equals 1. So log to the base a of a equals 1. Here's some examples and how to simplify these examples. If we have to simplify these, in the first one, Log to the base 5 of 7, log to the base 5 of 2, 7 times 2 is 14. Log to the base 9 of 12 minus log to the base 9 of 2, so we need to divide 12 by 2 to get 6. The power comes outside, so we get 5 log to the base 6 of 2. Log to the base anything of the same number in this case 4 and 4, that's 1. And log to the base anything of 1 
is simply zero. Let's take log, or let's say that log to the base a of x, let's call that m. So the base is a, so a to the power m equals x. Now let's take logs of both sides, but this time to the base b. So we've got this. The power m comes outside, so m log to the base b of a equals log to the base b of x. What was m? m is log to the base a of x. So log to the base a of x multiplied by log to the base b of a equals log to the base b of x. So therefore we get log to the base a of x is log to the base b of x divided by log to the base b of a. And this is an important rule that helps you change the base. Here we're asked to simplify log to the base 4 of 12 and log to the base 2 of 12. 4 and 2 are different numbers. You can't combine logs unless the bases are the same. That's so important, I'm going to say it again. We can't combine logs unless the bases are the same. So we've just found out how to change logs. So let's change this to base 2. So it's log to the base 2 of 12, but then we need to divide by log to the base 2 of 4. That's what the rule said. So this expression equals uh, this. Log to the base 2 of 12 over log to the base 2 of 4. Well, let's consider log to the base 2 of 4. If log to the base 2 of 4 equals a, then 2 to the power a must equal 4. In other words, a equals 2. 2 squared is 4. So this is um, 1 over 2. Log to the base 2 of 4 is, is 2. So it's 1 over 2 times log to the base 2 of 12 plus log to the base 2 of 12. Well, that's nice. So altogether, it's a half of log to the base 2 of 12 plus another 1. So it's 1 and a half log to the base 2 of 12.